Sweet potato pie. Okay, so our potatoes have been washed, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them in some foil before we roast them. This is a real easy part right here. You just put some foil down, place the potato in the center of the foil, put a little oil on there, just kind of rub it around the potato skin. And what I normally do is I just kind of fold it over and then fold it again. And it's ready for the oven just like that. So I'm going to do the remaining ones and get these in the oven, a 375 degree oven for about 40 minutes uh, until they're nice and tender. When you squeeze this potato and it's soft and you can squeeze it, then you know it's ready to go. Okay, so our potatoes have roasted, uh, the sweet potatoes here. And uh, what we're gonna do, I let them cool down so I can handle them uh, by hand. And what we're gonna do is take the uh, peel off now, which just comes right off uh, once you bake them. The, uh, it makes it easier to get the peel off. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel all three of these potatoes here. And we've got some nice, uh, sweet potato meat flesh here uh, that we're going to use in our pie so we you see how the peel just comes right off there we go so take these little stringy pieces out and now we're going to take this we're going to put it in our bowl and we're going to use that uh, we're going to puree the, the rest of these potatoes Okay, everybody, we are going to put together a pie crust for our sweet potato pie. So, you know, uh, you can most definitely go to the store and get you a pie crust that's already made. Uh, they sell several different types. They have some that are already in the pan for you. So all you got to do is pour your, your pie mixture into the pan. Uh, there are others that are flat. Uh, you can roll them out and then put them in whatever pan or, or dish you're going to use. So we have, uh, we're going to make our own pie dough. So what we have here is one and a half cups of flour and a half a teaspoon, teaspoon of salt. So we're going to mix this together here. And then we have about a quarter cup of ice water here. We're going to use to... Uh, moisten the dough and we have uh, one stick of butter. The butter is going to give us some fat and flakiness to the dough uh, so it will have a nice flavor to it as well. Now you can also add a tablespoon or two of sugar to your pie dough if you like to. Some people do that to add a little sweetness to the pie dough as well. Uh, but I'm going to get this into the food processor because what we're going to do is we're going to process this in the food processor and then we're going to roll it out and get it ready for our pie pan.
Okay, everyone, it is time to uh, um, uh, put together our pie filling. So right here I have two cups of our pureed uh, sweet potatoes in this bowl here. We have uh, three tablespoons of white sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar. We have a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. We have a can of sweetened condensed milk. Uh, make sure you get the sweetened condensed milk, uh, which looks like this, comes in a can like this. You don't want to get the uh, evaporated milk for this recipe. Uh, we have two whole eggs and one egg yolk. And we have some uh, vanilla extract that we're going to use in the pie filling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pie filling together and uh, I got a pre-baked pie shell uh, from our uh, pie pastry that we made earlier and we're going to get this pie in the oven. Alright so we're going to add our sugar We have the white and the brown sugar. And we have cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm going to put that in there. Whisk it up a bit. Okay. And when you have the puree, it's easy to mix your pie mix because you know, your potatoes are already smooth and soft and silky. So we're going to add a a little bit of vanilla here. Put some vanilla extract in there. Now we're going to add our sweetened condensed milk. This stuff is like syrup. It's really thick and it's sweet. So you don't have to put a lot of sugar in your pies or cakes when you use sweetened condensed milk because this milk is sweet. Okay, let's mix that up here. <coughs> All right. So now we mixed our sugar, our milk, and our potatoes. So now, if you want to taste your If you want to taste your pie filling, now's the time to do it before we add the egg. So we're going to just give it a little taste. And that has good flavor and it's definitely sweet enough. So I think we're good to go. We're going to add our eggs to this and then we're going to get it in our pie crust. Alright, so we're going to add our filling to our pie crust here. Get all that good filling in. Alright, all right, so that looks good. Okay, so now our pie is ready for the oven, uh, 375 degrees for about 50 minutes to an hour. 
for this pie to bake. Uh, this year I'm going to do something a little bit special or a little different. I'm going to add some crumble to the top of my pie. Uh, so it'll be slightly different from your classic uh, sweet potato pie. So what I have here is I have some pecan brown sugar crumble that I mixed up and I'm just going to lay these crumble tops or these crumble bits on the top of the pie here. And these are going to melt down and make a nice crumbly crust on top for us. So I'm just going to add those in there right on top. And this will be a very tasty holiday pie. Uh, sweet potato was a favorite in our home growing up. Uh, my mother did make pumpkin as well. But I think the majority of the family really preferred the sweet potato. Okay, so now we've got a crumble on the top. What we're going to do is we put this in the oven, 375 degrees for one hour and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Hey everybody, just removed this pie from the oven and actually it looks great. I mean, the crumble came out really nice. It's golden brown on the top. Our pie uh, filling has risen up. I mean, it was below the crust line before we put it in, but it's risen up. The crumble is nice and, and crumbly on top. So we're gonna do our quick test here. Stick this toothpick inside. And then we take this toothpick out, and the toothpick is nice and dry, so we're good to go. Uh, the pie has to cool down, and we'll let it cool down, and then we'll be able to slice it, serve it with some whipped cream, or maybe some ice cream or some fruit, however you like it. But it's going to be a very good tasting pie. Okay, everybody, our sweet potato crumble pie has been served. Uh, I have it on a platter here. Two slices of pie. Um, you know, the crumble was an idea that came to me uh, when I started making the pie. So I'm going to have to um, put the ingredients for the crumble uh, for those of you who want to do that uh, portion of it. This nice golden brown top gives it a nice texture. Uh, as you can see, the pie. It's nice and firm, slices well. It's still a little bit warm, but uh, I think it, we have a good pie here. A nice winner. We're going to give it a taste test and see what it tastes like. Okay, everybody, we have a fork here. We're going to give this sweet potato pie a taste. That crumble is nice and crumbly there. I don't know if you can hear that, but it has that little thump to it. And now we're going to stick our fork in here. Get us a slice of pie. It looks good. Moist. Reminds me of Thanksgiving. That cinnamon taste with the sweet potato. Do a little bit of crunch from the crumble. I think we have a winner here for Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you enjoy my recipe. I want to thank you all for viewing. And everybody have a good day.